Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, hey everybody, it's Friday. It's the 16th of June, 2023. Another week is completed and it's very busy here today. It's also extremely hot, sultry weather, very humid out here. So I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. And I just wanna do a shout out to Bruce McDonald who likes my hand movements on the intro. And I would like to remind you, Bruce, that if you don't like this, there is something called the fast forward. So you don't have to watch these hand movements as I'm doing the discussion about what you're gonna see. So a few things that you are going to see today that I think you'll find interesting, especially you, Bruce, is on the south end, they are doing more of the rebar cages that are being installed into the footings now right on the south end of the stamping machine structure. And as you can see by this image, not only are they putting more of those rebar cages at the south end of the factory, but also in this image, you can see that they're constructing more of those rebar cages over underneath the power lines, which is a great sign. Now the CFA auger drills, as you can see by this image, isn't in action today again. However, when I was up at the battery cathode plant, I noticed the GeoPier work has been completed. So possibly we'll see those come back to the south end at some point in the future, maybe next week. Another thing that you're going to see today that I think you'll find interesting is on the east side, there's the TKS paint system deliveries and another large delivery today in addition to many other of the components that are shrink wrapped in white. As you can see by this image here, there is a large dip tank. This is the second half of another dip tank part that was delivered last week. So it's continuing to be put in to the factory. I'm not sure exactly what part of the factory, but it's probably related to Cybertruck in some way. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed those views of the TKS system being delivered and being prepared for assembly inside the factory. The last thing that I want to show you is up at the Megapack site, a lot of really great uh, changes, specifically the concrete pads that we've talked about in the past are now being installed where the mega packs will eventually be installed on that uh, section of the site that has the two parallel lines going from the south to the north. Also on the north side, you're gonna see more trenching for conduit. This is actually smaller conduit and it's going above where the larger conduits on those eight uh, trenches that will eventually connect the various groupings of the mega packs once they are installed. Also on the north end, you can see by this image here that we have more of the steel componentry being installed for the electrical connections. And it uh, looks like maybe some of the uh, resistors or the um, uh, insulators are being installed as well, which is great to see. So otherwise, thank you very much, Bruce, for your recommendations about my intro. And I do hope if you don't like this that you've forwarded through here but for everybody else I'm just having a little bit of fun and it is a very hot day out here today so I think it's worthy to have some fun now let's get into the video and let's see about more what's going on here at Giga Texas and some more discoveries as well thank you very much I appreciate it have a great weekend take care my drones are ready and raring to go let's go flying over Giga Texas We start off the day on the west side near that parking lot for the contractors and the buses that take them over to the uh, factory. The material staging location where you can see the road going to the north under construction, the west warehouse on wheels. And on the right side of the screen near that uh, steel pole, we can see that crews are putting some concrete around that base, probably to help mitigate for erosion. So as we fly along the side towards the north, I'll give you a, a closer view of the material staging here. Um, as you can tell, a lot more materials are starting to show up here. And some of this, I think, uh, is either new or is being relocated from the far east side. And that's why we see less materials over in some of that section. 
Also, some of this, especially what you see here on the left-hand side of the screen, has been moved from the material staging that you see in the upper right-hand side as well. And that's to allow for the construction of that uh, uh, clearing location with all that gray to continue to the north along here where you see the earthwork uh, underway. And they're continuing to work their way towards the north, not only clearing this space, uh, to expand that uh, warehouse on wheels that you see at the top of the screen, but also on the right-hand side of the screen, that road will connect all the way to the north at Tesla Road, and then that'll give two main entry and exit points for this entire side. So let's uh, get ready to go across the highway and we'll pick up the narration at the main building. So this is a good view of the northwest corner and just how close the white staining progress is to getting to that northwest corner. And here they're just finishing up over the last of the receiving doors on this side. And there are some the blue tarps on the ground and also the plastic on the windows just to help to prevent from any of the drips of the stain. So let's continue along the west side heading to the south and we'll pick up uh, the narration as we get to the end of line. These two white tents and that Model Y that just came out of the factory on that uh, black ramp, this is where the end of line or the vehicles uh, exit the factory for the very first time. This is the first initial checkout and then they will drive them over to the east side for additional testing calibration and also supercharging. The west main entrance has not changed uh, any perceivable way in the near in the last few weeks and no activity over by that uh, Cybertruck uh, graffiti trailer. But there is a new development here on this side of the center road and it looks like they've uh, cordoned this off for some material staging and much of this is items that will be used for the production lines that are being installed on the ground and second and third floors on this section of the building. And much of this is being moved right inside through a large ramp. We also see this red item here, and that's part of the uh, production line. And we've seen that throughout the factory where they use some white and red parts. There are two of these white wrapped items that have been recently delivered. Can't really tell what these are based on the markings, but they are gonna be prepared to be moved onto the top of this platform soon. And then here we see Oh, it looks like metal enclosures, possibly ventilation ducts that are being moved up onto that uh, platform at this point in time. As we look towards the south, uh, you can see that this southwest corner has all of the white pipes installed, all of the trench work has been filled back in, and now the trench work is proceeding to the west along the south side of the building. And uh, you can uh, tell here that more of those white pipes are being installed in that trench. And what we can also tell now is on the side just next to where that uh, gray section is with the two openings, that's where the temporary platform used to be. It looks like this trench with these white pipes takes a 90 degree turn and then will connect into additional uh, plumbing that is already present here at the base of the walls underneath the perimeter grade beam. So it looks like that's where these uh, pipes are going to go for right now. Also, the crews on the footings are very busy today. They're making more of the footings and they're also installing for the first time some of those uh, square rebar cages into the footings. We also see those tie bars that go in between the footings and those are getting rebar as well. But this is a really good view of the work that they're doing, what these footings look like and where they are on the south side of the building. Interestingly, one of those footings is not completely square. It's got a little bit of a triangular edge. So that's uh, interesting. It'll be something I'll be watching for. But uh, I hope you enjoy these views. You can see what this looks like now as the south side construction 
uh, continues and is beginning another phase. Now on this side, you can uh, tell that more of the rebar cages have been constructed. Crews are actually constructing more right now and there's a lot more of the rebar waiting for that. So uh, clearly there's gonna be many more footings uh, installed on this side of the building and hopefully we'll see that really soon. On this side of the stamping, there's many components that have been delivered and that semi-circular one as well. That's very similar to several others that we saw on previous uh, videos. And I know that those are being moved inside as well. And I think that's part of some of the production equipment that has been installed. I'm going across the roof here just to show you next to these solar panels where those vents have been uh, installed into the roof here, those clean sections, and they're waiting for the enclosures to be installed as well. As we continue over the factory, and I'll bring the drone down, you can tell where more of the rebar is positioned here and those rebar cages. This is for the continuous flight auger piles, and that just gives you an idea of how many more of those piles have yet to be constructed. On this corner near the cyber pond, uh, you can see crews are working on that berm near the pond and also on the road that's going to be part of the river road extension. And this will connect from the south bridge over to the west side and then along this side of the cyber pond over to the east and then to the north along the building. Much more of the materials are stored on the right hand side of the screen and I will bring the drone up and turn back to the factory just to give you a bird's eye view of how the entire south end looks today. Those CFA uh, pile drilling uh, cranes have not moved in over a week and I think that they're just waiting uh, for the proper time and as we mentioned there are many more of the rebar cages uh, so we know they're going to be drilling more of those piers. So as I uh, reposition the drone to the east side, we'll look back to the west. I just want to give you a good overall view of how the south end is progressing and the changes, the river road on the left of the cyber pond, some of the berm work by the cyber pond, the CFA drills and cranes, how the south end appears and where those footings and the pipes are being installed right now. As I bring the drone back down, I want to show you on this intersection uh, where the River Road extension turns to the north, we see some trench work along the middle section here right in front of the drone and some on the right side. I don't know, but that may be for some conduit, uh, maybe electrical conduit uh, to be installed at some point. So it'll be something that I will monitor. As we proceed up the east side of the building heading towards the north, I will turn back just a couple of things that I noted. For some reason, there's a few Model Ys parked here, and uh, I'm not sure exactly why they are. That large door used to be where end of line is, so I don't know if they're having some of the vehicles exit here uh, or not, but uh, something I will continue to monitor. This clearing location is starting to get the gravel mix now, which implies that uh, all of the grade work is done. Now they're preparing it for either use as material storage or maybe parking, or maybe we'll see some construction. So another thing I'll be watching. The testing and calibration lot is very busy. Many of the Model Ys on that south end next to the track have been uh, lined up. And also this uh, kind of the rain uh, device where they test for any water leaks. Uh, looks like there's some Model Ys around there, so maybe they're starting to use that. The new car staging and transportation lot is very busy again today. Several trucks uh, right now, uh, only looks like three here, but others are queued up outside of the factory, ready to come in to pick up even more, and there's two good lines of the Model Ys waiting for transportation. As I turn back here towards the testing and calibration lot, uh, Again, you can see how full it is of vehicles getting their final checkouts, the supercharging. And then also near this east main entrance, it looks like there's some planters with trees and several of the uh, cars, looks like most of them are Teslas, are parked there for an interesting uh, reason. I'm not sure exactly why. As we head up towards the north, the clearing on the left, uh, still waiting for the uh, concrete to be installed. And then uh, as we go up uh, over the power lines, looking back down, we can see where all of the castings are being stored. The widened berm with that plastic for erosion control. Also the conduit installation and how it looks on this side. 
Um, you can see there's many concrete vaults being prepared right now with more conduit to be installed as well. And then also some of the kind of rectangular uh, sections of this uh, aluminum on the left, that is actually some of the uh, ingots that uh, are the material that's left over that's melted back down and then that's going to be used for recycle. Uh, we see some more of the trenching here with trench boxes for more of the conduit, some of the white crate, well, wooden crates on the left-hand side that have been delivered, and also many of the uh, rack mounts for the castings on the left. And these continue to be delivered new here as well, so they're, they're getting more of those uh, rack mounts uh, on the site. This is a good view of these two concrete vaults with the conduit. On the left-hand side, just underneath the concrete, you can see the conduit that is already in existing. That goes underneath the perimeter grade beam, underneath casting, and uh, I believe will be what uh, uh, directs the uh, electrical wires for the solar panels up to the mega pack. On the north side of the paint shop, we can see some of these uh, transport uh, racks with three different Model Y bodies and three different colors. Two of them are the 2170 versions with the floors and the red one is a 4680 version without a floor. And also here near the plastics machine, uh, the plastics manufacturing section, we can see this rack with some of these items. This is for molds for the bumpers and uh, uh, these are used in the manufacturing of the bumpers, which takes place in this part of the factory. So let's uh, turn back to the north and let's take a look at some of the progress at the Megapack site today. On the left-hand side of the screen are the concrete uh, pads that we've seen delivered, and now today we're gonna see where they are being installed. The material staging here has a lot of different uh, materials, some of the steel poles at the bottom for installation at the north end of the factory, some interesting deliveries and crates on the left, and the workshops directly ahead. We also see the crews placing some of those uh, concrete pads right now and this is a great way of seeing how the pads with the holes and then the pads without the holes are being arranged now these are going to be uh, installed along two parallel parts of the um, mega pack site and then uh, on either side of where we see this gravel mix and where those uh, kind of supporting structures are where the conduits those are being removed and that's where those uh, concrete pads are going to be lined up all the way up to this point there's a new shallower electrical conduit uh, being uh, installed here. This is over on top of the eight large trenches with the large conduit that you can see extending out of the ground near where these uh, steel parts are now uh, vertically assembled around the cable trays. More of the parts are on the ground waiting for their installation, but there is quite a bit more of the vertical uh, steel parts installed today and that's continuing up here on the north end as well. So I'll give you a good overall view of how the mega pack site is looking right now. In the center is where the mega packs themselves will be and here on the north is where a lot of the electrical connections are going to be um, installed and this is what will connect over to the electrical switch yard just to the left of the screen. And there's a good view of some more of the work here and it looks like uh, possibly some of those insulators are being installed on the top of some of those steel items as well. And then the, this good uh, tall uh, bird's eye view gives you a, a good idea of how this entire site uh, looks today and how the uh, construction is starting to develop. As we proceed more towards the east over the power lines, I'll bring the drone down and show you this clearing section underneath the power lines is where the electrical conduit is coming out of those two concrete vaults. And you can see where they end here near the crane. And then this section here, this uh, what looks like to be a construction project near that retaining wall for an underground vault continues. Some of the concrete has been poured on the ground. We see some of the rebar being uh, erected around it to give the wall structure 
and it still looks like quite a bit of work with uh, all of the rebar on the left waiting to be installed as well. So still waiting to find out what this ultimately will be, but it does look like they're making pretty quick progress. The electrical switch art itself is mostly complete. At the center bottom of the screen, there's that gate that on my previous video we saw the crews installing. It looks like it's nearly completed. And as we fly up to the north, one of the things I wanted to show you here is that one of these steel poles that used to be here, one of the original ones, has been not only removed, but is being cut up for removal off of the site. And it's pretty clear what the aftermath of all that uh, slicing and cutting up of that uh, looks today. So let's wrap up uh, here and let's progress over to the battery cathode plant and we'll see what progress is going on over there today. The transformation here on the west side of the battery cathode plant uh, continues. Uh, getting much wider and still more earthwork near where those berms were located on that side, separating it to the Martin Marietta plant. Um, this is a good view of some of the workers with these large spools of that orange uh, uh, cabling, and it looks like they're preparing for that to be installed. And speaking of installation, here's a really good view of the work going on to install the glass uh, panes on this section of the battery cathode plant. The east side is nearly completed, and now they're starting to work on the north side. Uh, so it's really great to see, and there's more of the glass uh, on the ground waiting for it to be lifted up by those cranes. So at the pace that they're going, uh, certainly by the end of this weekend, we'll probably see uh, at least uh, the half of the north face of the battery cathode with glass. On the east side, not only can you tell that more of the materials here have been cleared out near where some of this excavation work is going on, but also as we fly further to the south, we'll note that the equipment for the geopier has now been removed, and I think that may be headed back down to the south end. But we can see evidence here, especially in with this graveled section, you can see those little dots those are geopiers, and most of this section has had geopier work completed. And on the south end, we see an excavation work with some construction for an underground structure. And I'll give you a good view here. Uh, the vertical items that you see in the ground, those are actually the geopiers. So this is a really great view of how that process works. They install the geopiers and then that supports this whole structure. And then they excavate down and then they put the forms in, as you can see here, for some sort of a slab to support some sort of equipment. Or it may be part of a construction project. Either way, this is a new development and I'm glad to be able to share that with you. And we'll be watching over time to see what develops in that section. We see more of the white components for platforms have been delivered here next to these four tanks. The four tanks have not moved yet, but I'm still waiting to find out uh, where those are going to be installed. And then in that large opening, more of the rack mounts have been installed both on the south and the north side and also now on that west wall. Here's a good view of the entire east side looking to the north and how this is continuing to change uh, and uh, uh, progress as the time goes on. The die shop is uh, getting some concrete work on the ground floor and you can see where that concrete trucks is. Uh, are, the trucks are lined up to move into that section of the building. No glass or the doors have been installed yet but they do have the portable air conditioning unit and then in the alleyway between the two structure more of that trenching for that smaller blue water pipe. The chiller system and the nitrogen uh, vaporizer system uh, is getting more work. It looks like between the uh, tanks and the vaporizers and that uh, galvanized steel structure, they now have a covered portico that uh, kind of divides that section and we'll be able to see that here in a second. As I zoom in, you can see some of the work that's going on, on the ground floor with some of those pumps and some of the workers there and also on that roof section with the grate more of the installation of some of those pipes and continuing to fit out this particular section. And on the right, you can see that covered sort of uh, walkway now uh, between those uh, two items. Looks like more uh, items are now hanging from the bottom of the roof here. And it looks like some pipes are now projecting towards the west. 
uh, out, out from that uh, structure as well. And it looks like crews are very busy near those Evapco fan units and then possibly preparing for whatever is going to be installed in that square or that uh, rectangular opening section on that north end. But this is a really good view of how the alleyway, the trench work, and the chiller plant uh, looks today. So I'm going to fly up to the north just to give you a slightly different view of what the west side looks like today with some of the concrete uh, round manholes waiting for installation. This uh, workshop here where they are doing some modification of some of these steel parts. And also I wanted to give you a good close view of this new concrete uh, uh, apron that is being constructed right outside this large door. In addition to the, uh, the yellow weatherproof membrane and also the uh, rebar, you can see those two tracks. I think those tracks are for a gantry crane. You can see the tracks extend on the inside of the um, door. And that is for large equipment to be delivered to and moved inside or moved outside of the uh, structure, which is pretty interesting. As we fly over this new clearing location, this has been all cleared out. Some of the materials have been moved over to that far west side that we talked about earlier in the video. I wanted to give you a good close-in view of this. This is the TKS Industrial Company. It's Paint Finishing Systems. Many of the components have been delivered here, and you can see them in the white wrapping with the TKS symbols on it. Also, this large tank on this truck is the second half of uh, this dipping tank. Last week, the first half arrived and it was moved inside the factory. And this is the second half. And this good perspective shows you what it looks like on the inside. This is where they have basically body and whites after they've been welded together are dipped in there for most likely e-coating systems, which provides a corrosion protection uh, a boundary and it's before a paint is used. Now I think that some of this is all uh, in relation to the Cybertruck production and many people ask well the Cybertruck stainless steel it doesn't need paint. Well the interior cabin where the passengers are uh, going to be uh, situated where the seats and the uh, instrument panels and so forth that's all welded together from stamped parts and that part needs to have corrosion correction. Uh, protection and that's what I believe this is all for. So as we fly over more of the material storage you can see how this is uh, continuing to change. We fly over this graded location and I want to show you some new trenching here. First of all these vaults at the bottom of the screen you can see where the electrical conduit is coming in and then there's a turn that goes to the north and also it goes to the east. And this is part of that electrical conduit system to power the die shop and the battery cathode plant. Also in this trench, we could see some of that black HDPE pipe, which is used for treated water is being installed. And it goes under the road here where also conduit goes under the road. And then with this new trench, you can see that they're preparing and actually installing some of that long HDPE pipe into this trench. And this will eventually connect over to previous HDPE pipe that uh, has been installed. And it goes all the way down to the south underneath the Colorado over to the treated water plant, which is located on the uh, south uh, side of the Colorado River. And then also all of that trench work we saw here for the conduit uh, has now been filled all the way in. So that looks like it is completed now. So anyway, that's a good view over a lot of Giga Texas today on this Friday. I hope that you enjoyed the views, the discussion, and I hope you had some fun with my intro as well. Uh, but there's a lot of good information there uh, in that intro as well. So anyway, thank you very much for your support and for watching. I do appreciate that, and I hope that you have a great weekend. Take care.